Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Father Steve Connor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Ocean City, New Jersey, and this is Wiley. And today is our Wednesdays with Wiley. So as we gather together, let us begin with prayer, reminding ourselves of God's loving and sustaining presence in our lives. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Faithful God, we gather here today to be reminded of your presence in our lives, your presence that surrounds us, that gives us life and breath and sustains us in this beautiful world in which we live. And we ask this as we ask all things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, today you can see we're in a little different place than we were last Wednesday. We're in the same room, but we had to sit on the couch because this morning when we were taking our morning walk, Wiley and I, he hurt his leg. The leash got wrapped around his back leg and we were running, playing our game where he puts the leash in his mouth and I try to get it. And when we got home, I could see that he was limping. And so he's been hurting a little bit. He's been laying on the bed. But you know what? <clears throat> Which is, I found very interesting, intriguing, in fact, is Wiley can easily jump from the floor onto the bed. But today, because his leg was hurting, he couldn't do that. And Wiley does not like to be picked up, do you, Wiley? You don't like to be picked up. But as I was working in my clofus, my office, closet office here, I looked out and there was Wiley at the end of the bed. And he looked at the bed, and then he looked at me, and then he looked at the bed. And what I realized was he was asking for help. And so I came out of my clofus and I enveloped him in my arms. He did not growl. He did not squirm. And I put him on the bed. And that's what he wanted. And so when we came out here to do Wednesdays with Wiley, I had to pick him up off the bed. This time he did growl a little bit, but carried him from the bedroom to this sunroom. And he came willingly and quietly, asking for help. You know, it's something all of us struggle with. Whatever we're dealing with, whatever we, we feel like we need to handle on our own or whatever, we find it hard to ask for help. I know I do at times. I feel like, well, I should be able to do this. It's, it's part of who I am. And if I tell somebody, will I appear weak or insufficient or something. And yet so many times our prayers and psalms always are talking about God helping us and we helping others. The harder thing is to ask for help for ourselves. Yesterday, the clergy of the Diocese of New Jersey spent time with the five candidates for our new bishop. And one of the questions they were asked, what is one of the hardest things you've learned about yourself? And almost every candidate talked about that they can't do it alone, that they need others, they need the community, they need others rather than relying completely on themselves. And it means asking for help. It means being collaborative. And so today I want to share with you a reading from Matthew's Gospel because I think it illustrates what it means to ask for help. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds had followed him. When he entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, appealing to him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in terrible distress. And he said to him, 
I will come and cure him. The centurion answered, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does this. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. And he said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you, in Israel I have not found such faith. Isn't it amazing? The centurion, a man of authority, realizes he cannot do what he needs to do alone, and he must ask for help. Today, I invite you to think of what is going on in your life that you need help with. And I don't mean necessarily asking God, which is always important, praying to God to give us guidance and help. But what do you need help from another person or persons? And see if that fear is holding you back from asking. I probably will have to pick up Wiley again when we finish our recording here. And he will still limp a little bit, at least hopefully just for a little while. Right, buddy? Huh? But he'll ask for my help, perhaps in a subtle way. But for Wiley, that's pretty direct. So the Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of the silence, calm and quiet my soul at the font of your loving presence. In your silence, replenish me with the force for love, especially for those who are the most demanding. When there is nowhere else to go, inspire me to drop into my heart and find your life-giving grace there weaving the fabric of human reality into a tapestry of love. Amen. May God bless us this day. May God's face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, buddy. Have a great day. Say bye-bye. Okay, I think he's ready. Bye. <laughs>